Right guys, this is another Corman Syndrome vlog, um, vlog number two regarding our son Samuel. Um, what I'm going to do now is, before I talk any further, I'm going to put, we went to Royal London Hospital yesterday in Whitechapel, which will be the 14th of Feb, today's the 15th. Um, we come back with loads and loads of bits and pieces, needles, medication. I'll put a picture of that up now if you can see what we had to carry back with us. Right guys, so on my last vlog, I spoke about Samuel um, undergoing treatment called FSH, and he started that last December, December the 12th. Yesterday, he started uh, an additional treatment called HCG, which is human chorionic gonadotropin. Excuse me looking down, so I have to, have to read off the, the notebook. Um, his particular one is what's called Pregnil, if, if anyone means anything to anyone if I can show it to the camera um, so this is the stuff it will be well he had his first injection just yesterday yesterday I'm gonna put this on for about more air records as well if you bear with me yesterday it was 138.1 centimeters in height this is the 14th of Feb 2017 and weight 41.5 now this is the, the stuff that hopefully we'll get everything moving um stimulate growth in in a few different ways so um obviously puberty uh, which in, in obviously puberty and and growing in height and everything else in his body to develop so hopefully we've got fingers crossed this stuff is going to do, do the trick um it's quite something well, it's quite an old deal for me to actually remember what was what because you have to with this whereas before with his fsh pen uh, it's literally already mixed up. You just turn the dial and press the press the pen to inject the FSH. This is much more of a what you know is a traditional injection. Um, you have to sort of mix these two by breaking breaking the caps off the two vials. Those who undergo this are probably know this all too well. Uh, you break the caps off these two vials uh, using a big needle to draw out the fluid to put into the powder to make the medicine up. And then we use another smaller needle to actually um, administer the, the, the injection to Samuel. So, basically, well, if I show you here, where have I think gone? Mark. So this, we've got loads of sort of, these are the two, this is the needle and the syringe, if you can see those. I you can see wobbling over our camera. So those, we use just to make up the medicine, if you like. And then we draw up using a finer needle, which is this one here. And that one we just inject into Samuel. And it was very good. And I did it yesterday. And the first time I did it too slow. And he moaned a bit. I was under the guidance of the nurse. <laughs> but the, when I did it properly, successful one, straight in, boom, injected it and it was fine. So uh, it is horrible. For me, it's horrible. I have to sort of stick a needle in someone. It's, uh, I don't know. But anyway, it's fine. It's got to be done. And it, it was all good. So I think really that is this going to be a short and sweet vlog without too much waffle from me. But yesterday was quite a big day. Started his HCG, Human Chronogonic Gonotropin. Should have said it once, you really left it at that, shouldn't I? I keep the temp to say it. Um, and this is the stuff here. I wonder if I can get onto the camera. So this is what he's going, up, um, going for at the moment. So we shall obviously be revisited. We, we regulars at Royal London Hospital anyway now for all of this, and they are absolutely wonderful. Um, we see a nurse called Lee, who's a lovely, lovely chap, and uh, has been so supportive and helpful. Um, he's under someone I said before called Professor Dunkel, who's uh, an amazing chap who's been helping us as well. So um, I think I'll leave it there before I waffle on too much. So this is the fifteenth of Feb and hopefully I'll give you some updates as time goes on which should be some real progress from Sam which apparently could happen quite rapidly so uh, might be new wardrobe and <laughs> quite quickly it should grow your growth should be quite rapid so fingers crossed it'll all work well and I'll keep you updated all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next vid whether it be a, a Corman syndrome vlog for those that follow this or one of my other general waffle 
uh, subjects I tend to go on about. Thanks very much. You take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.